And I can't speak highly enough about the one laser. So quick info on that. And we actually did this in two jobs before I get into that. So uh, we did, as you remember, uh, we could fit really three on one and then one on its own uh, piece. So we went ahead and did the one separately by itself just to make sure our settings were good. Our settings were great. Uh, it cut out just fine. The way the one laser works, the Hydra is probably the biggest laser we've ever owned. It weighed like 1,200 pounds. It was kind of a beast to get in. But once you get it in, um, it's an awesome machine. They do make smaller Hydras. All of them have a 38 watt RF, and they have different levels of uh, the CO2 laser. So we happened to get the 16, so we upgraded to the 150 watt CO2. And that's what let us get through these crazy speeds. And funnily enough, actually, we processed the score at only 20% power and 100 speed. And we noticed after when we stained them that actually that score had gone partially almost through the wood in some spots because we had stain leaking through and you could see some of the score marks on the back of the sheet. So even 20% power at 100 speed was probably a little too uh, much power for the score on this. But again, it got through it pretty quickly. We're not complaining. It's not going to a customer. It's just going up on our wall. They ended up looking great. So after that, we processed the job here for all three of them, the three bigger ones on the second sheet. And again, that processed in no time at all either. So really enjoy working with one laser. Uh, the way they work is they have a 38 watt RF and then different levels of the CO2 again, and it's actually on mirrors. So uh, if you want to use the RF, the mirrors pop up to show the RF laser. And if you want to use uh, the CO2, the little elevator in the back drops the mirrors down so that it's lined up with the CO2 source. So Really great tech there. 